morning, everyone. Welcome to Jazz and Rock and Roll Horns. All you cymbal sages, savvy saxophone specialists, transcendent trumpet titans. <laughs> Love that one. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about optional horn parts, which I got to thinking, I remember when we used to learn to write for, for a big band, uh, they would make us write an optional fourth bone part. So it worked with the trombone player with a fourth bone and worked without a fourth bone, uh, depending. And I got to thinking about this, this idea because, you know, a lot of us are doing casuals and society gigs and those sort of things. And <clears throat> depending on how much it pays, right? Um, so you could either use... If the gig, if you want to have a horn section and the gig doesn't, you know, pays more modestly, um, you could have two horns. And if the gig pays more, you could have three horns, maybe even four. So whatever you run into, uh, you could, ha no matter what book you use, use the, the the two horns, the three horns, or the four horns. It'll work. It'll work either way. Okay. Um, so how does that work? Well. If everybody's playing in unison or octaves, you don't you don't have to worry about it. So you would just let's say um, you had let's let's start with an optional bone part. So our our um, section is trumpet, saxophone, and trombone. Okay. So let's say we're in B flat. Our other favorite key. <laughs> besides C. Uh, anyway, so we have B flat, and let's say our our, our uh, voicing is um, is uh, let's say we have an F up here, okay? Um, and if we're playing in unison or we're playing in octaves, we don't really have to do much. We, we just, you know, right, you know, the, the trombone is just going to uh, play in unison with the tenor sax because in an octave scenario uh, we're going to have trumpet up here and the other two tenor instruments down an octave okay so we just copy out the tenor part so that works so we're covered there or if they're in prime unison no big thing the thing the places that we have to pay attention to are when we're when we're in harmony um and so let's say we have B flat major nine, and there's our voicing. So it's basically B flat major nine. The fifth, the ninth. This is a line. I gotta rewrite these lines. <clears throat> and the major seventh. Okay. So it'll work either way. You know, if 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 we got the trombone player for the gig that pays better, he's gonna play the A. If we don't have him, they're gonna play in force. It'll be fine. Um, it's better if you keep these top two horns in thirds or sixes. Let's try another one. Okay. Let's say, let's write a, let's, let's just stay in the key of C just to keep it easy. And let's say our chord is C7. Okay. It's a blues and C. And here's the melody. Okay. So that's our trumpet part. And here would be our tenor part. We'd just go right up this. Just like that, right? So that'll work. That's with just the two horns, that'll work. Now, if we want to put the optional part in, we just come right down here. Okay. Either way, it'll work. If we want a fourth part, what is that? Boy, I can't see. I got to rewrite my lines. Uh, oh, D minor, E natural. Okay, and there and there you have it. So, if that was our figure <laughs> for the whole gig, <laughs> we could go with, you know, and and this could be a tenor. If I was going to do three or four horns, two, three, or four, I would make the bottom one trombone, I'd make the second one a tenor, and the two, he could be an alto or a tenor, because 
given the fact that we're always going to have at least two horns on the gig, right? But if we're going to have three horns or four horns, you know, either way, it's it's going to work. I've done that before where uh, <clears throat> I wrote a book. I think I talked about this before. I had a book for trumpet, sax, and trombone and piano trio. It was a sextet book. And uh, I wanted to do a chart with my other sextet that only had two horns. And so I was able, I just dropped the trombone part out. But there were parts in the, in the arrangement where the trombone was playing, you know, alone or something like that. So I would just give that to me, the keyboard player. I could play it on synth. I could play it on piano or somehow cover that part with, with some other instruments. Let's say I had, um, you know, uh, guitar in the band. I could cover it with guitar. There's many ways, you know, we can do, you know, like we talked about before, mixed orchestration where you're mixing uh, uh, different instrument groups as opposed to, you know, always being played by the same instrument group. You know, trumpets always play with, you know, that sort of thing. So that's... Uh, Basically, for, for optional horns, um, okay, um, let's think of another. Let's go to F7, and our melody is, there's our bar, okay, so F7, so we could do We could do a tritone. It'll sound good. Okay. Um, up to the C here, and then we go up to the thing there. So there's our two part. Now, if we want to add a third part, we just go C and F. Okay. Trombone player's not there. It'll still it'll still sound fine. So the optional horn part is something to consider for. Um, Folks with with uh, smaller groups that are you know depending on what the gig pays, you know or what you're trying to do, um, then that it just got me thinking about you know optional horn parts. Oh, there's the egg timer. <laughs> Keeps me from going over over my limit. Uh, anyway, so there you have optional horns. Uh, something to keep in mind. So you know that you can have two or three or four horns on a gig and have a book that works for two, three, or even four horns, um, depending on you know what the gig, the size of the gig, what the gig pays, that 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 sort of thing. And also, uh, shoot me an email, Fred at FredStickleyMusic.com. Love hearing from everybody, answering all your questions. It's a lot of fun. I want to thank everybody for picking up the new ebook and the video scores. Uh, which are a lot of fun. Uh, in the video scores, we take uh, horn arrangements that probably most of you have heard, and we I transcribe them into a concert key, into concert on all the I pile all the horns onto a grand staff, like a piano staff with treble and bass clef, like a piano staff in concert, okay, and a lower staff with the chord changes, so you can see what's going on, and we we will analyze four bar, eight bar sections at a time, and then go back and listen to those sections. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So until I see you next time, thanks for stopping by.